Hello and welcome everyone to the week ahead commodity report where we of course will be reviewing the markets for the week ahead. So as we go into a new week, what do you need to be aware of? So the main feature that we had last week in the markets was Jerome Powell and Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen speeches before Congress to testify on the pandemic relief and the economy. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell said policymakers do expect that inflation will move up over the course of this year. However, they played down the risk by stating that any price acceleration will be temporary. Despite Jerome Powell's comments, traders are still not completely convinced about the Fed's judgment on inflation. They believe that policymakers will have to address this problematic issue eventually before it snowballs into something they can no longer control. The big focus as we go into next week will be President Joe Biden's three trillion green energy and infrastructure plan. Now, this, of course, comes off the back of the one point nine trillion stimulus package, which has already been passed. And next week, we'll see President Joe Biden push ahead with that three trillion build back better green energy and infrastructure plan. Now, the Democrats managed to get around Joe Biden's one point nine trillion plan by using budget reconciliation processes, but it will be much trickier for them to pass the massive infrastructure plan. The only way they can make this work is by increasing the corporate tax rate from 21% to 28% as well as raising individual taxes on Americans who earn more than $400,000 per year. Other key macro events to look out for as we go into next week will be the ADP employment change. We have the jobless claims as well as the biggest event of the week, which will be Friday's non-farm payroll data. Now, next week is also the end of the quarter. And then, of course, we're transitioning into Easter from Friday onwards. And we also have the non-farm payroll data on the same day as Easter, where many countries around the world will be on public holidays. However, we will still see that data come out from the USA. So we could see some big moves on Friday. As you know, unprecedented global stimulus measures, soaring government debt, ultra loose monetary policies from central banks across the world. This remains extremely supportive for commodity prices throughout 2021 and beyond. We saw on Friday oil prices gain 5% to the upside. Platinum broke out 3%. In fact, this enables us last week just by simply coming in and out of the markets to bank over a thousand points in total on our energy position. So, of course, for every one lot that you would be trading, that's $10,000 of profit. For every 10 lots that you would trade, that's $100,000 of profit just in the matter of one week. And as bull markets, they don't move up in a straight line. They zigzag. This provides you, a savvy trader, with incredible back-to-back trading opportunities in this current environment so with that let's move over to the charts and we'll talk you through exactly what we're looking at here as we move into a new week first of all let's move over to platinum we have two positions on this market which are both in profit looking really good here into the close so platinum close limit up on friday at the daily highs up 2.87 percent on the day and what i would look at for next week is the potential for platinum to lead gold and silver higher if platinum continues to get a bid here. So we can see very clearly where we have a bull flag on the daily chart. If platinum is able to break above the weekly highs going to next week, so it manages to reclaim back above $1,200 per ounce, this is where I would see a reattempt back towards the highs from March. And this, of course, could then confluence with follow through on both gold and silver as we go into next week. So let's move over to silver. Silver we discussed with you in detail on both gold and silver asset of the day, where essentially we still like silver between 25 US dollars per ounce down to 24. You can see we spent very little time down at those levels. We spiked very quickly to the downside on Thursday before silver then actually rallied 1.7% in the matter of just one hour reclaiming back above $25 per ounce. So you can see here, each time it's dropping as low as that, just below $25 per ounce, it gets bid very quickly into the close, closing at 25. If we do see additional momentum on both platinum and also gold going into next week, this is where my expectation would be that silver will take out the last three days of highs and you'll start to see it come back up towards the previous neckline here and it wouldn't be too challenging for it to get back towards $26 per ounce and then come back also back towards the previous swing highs 
this from the beginning of March. So I would certainly look out for that going into next week. Now, it is possible at the start of the week, because we've got the end of quarter rebalancing that we may get over Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. We also have contract settlement for the metals on Monday as well. You may get some ebbing and flowing again, but I do perceive any pullbacks below $25 per ounce at the moment as an opportunity for a quick shorter term trade here to capitalize on the current volatility here for silver i would look at certainly those zones as an opportunity if we do get a bid at those levels to establish further shorter term trades at that zone very similar here in terms of gold as well definitely optimal for trading the week to week ranges provide plenty of opportunity to come in and out of gold regularly banking those profits we've mentioned it many times before but essentially if you've been buying gold from the summer of last year over june july and august you're right back at break even right in fact you're probably underwater if you're buying and holding whereas if you're trading it gives you the opportunity to regularly bank your profits come in and out the market and it's also very important to know when to bank profits it's actually more important in a way to know when to bank as opposed to entering into trades because this will give you the flexibility to then build back into your positions by regularly banking you're going to lock in those profits on your trading account keep bricklaying building up compounding the account and then this gives you lots of flexibility and opportunity to get back in at lower prices and very simply just trade the ranges here so i would look at that again going into next week the opportunity to trade the ranges you can see where gold had a positive close on friday consolidated over tuesday wednesday and thursday and into friday's close here as well again if platinum can build up some momentum we get silver getting a bit above 25 dollars per ounce this is where i would look for gold to potentially then break out towards the previous highs here that we had last week on gold which reside around 1745 dollars per ounce if we can take out that level then we should start to move up to 17 50 to 1760 for gold again at the start of next week because we have contract settlement and we potentially have end of quarter rebalancing of portfolios over monday tuesday wednesday you may churn sideways again here i would look at any pullbacks here back down towards 1700 as buy opportunities right now so if we were to get a dip down towards those zones i'd look at those as buy opportunities and of course if we keep breaking out to the upside consolidate and then start to break out within a potential bull flag very much like platinum at the moment as well if we do take out the highs here from friday we could then be on target for a move back towards 1750 then 1760 for gold i would absolutely look out for that as we go into next week as well we do have positions on from lower prices on gold we've established additional positions on silver and we have two positions on platinum as well copper is another market i'd keep on the radar we've got two trades on this market which are both in profit a strong move into the close here just under two percent move on copper here on friday closing towards its daily highs i would look out for the potential to copper also to catch a bid going into next week and energies have really been the star for us in the last week here we've been able to keep coming in and out of these markets on a daily basis then on friday very strong close here up four percent on the day on friday this is a great market to keep day trading at the moment is providing you plenty of opportunities with the current market volatility to keep compounding your account as you know we're going through an era of exponential change the pandemic ongoing global restrictions and lockdowns they're the new normal it's not going away anytime soon and building multiple streams of income it's no longer an option you want to make it a priority to make yourself recession proof and thrive in this new era of change not just survive in these fast moving and highly lucrative markets having access to the right data at the right time it's the biggest difference between ordinary and extraordinary results you want to be utilizing data Data, market intelligence, awareness of daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly cycles in the market, capital flows, understand the very specific catalysts that move commodities on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis. Understand the key areas of liquidity. Just as important to know when to bank your profits alongside when you enter into trades. Be aware of the intermarket correlations, the ratios in the market macroeconomics alongside that understand the major seasonal plays for commodities sentiment in the market and of course you need to know what the hedge funds money managers banks and institutions are doing 
on a daily basis. This will help you massively to get an edge. So with that, if you would like to join our community of successful traders, learn the research driven approach to the market and join our professional mentorship program, there is an opportunity for you to do so. As a member, you get access to our exclusive live trading room webinars. You have access to our real time trade ideas, access to our institutional research and market intelligence, access to our private members academy website and also support and one-to-one -one mentoring for more information just go to www.jointhelivetradingroom.com the link is also below this report in the description so just click on the link make an application and we will of course get in touch with you asap and do make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel that way you're always kept updated with all of the latest commodity reports